my issue with that is let's say like let's say you want a metal gear awesome shirt uh -huh. so it's the m the s and the v all right so you want a metal gear awesome shirt but he doesn't sell one me wearing your merchandise gives you free advertising yeah like under, under all circumstances so you don't make it but maybe i want like but there's a way I can get it anyway. So, so I don't understand like why it's such a problem. Like I understand why it's a problem. Like, I can understand why people are upset. It's just... It's just very complicated, I guess. Episode started. We got we're yeah. we're uh, okay. But yeah, as far as that's concerned, like I don't think there's like an easy solution for me. I, I feel like the solution is simply like take the free advertising. Like, cause ultimately, what you would want out of that is what you would want out of that is for there to be a. It would just be easier to, um, it would be easier to, like, strike a deal with the website than it would be to, uh, what, what the hell did I say? So, put the insignia back. So, yeah, basically just get a percentage and credit for your artwork as opposed to, like, trying to fight it necessarily. Yeah. Oh, it's more, you guys? Why? Go away. Don't, yeah, don't fight it. I mean, don't be a prick about it. Like, is really what it comes down to. Hold on, here's a better question is, where am I going? Not in the church. So, I spent a lot of time doing the wrong thing anyway. about it don't be like don't be so like uptight over the idea that somebody is using your artwork like sometimes it's you know be flattered at the same time. I don't like know how to describe I don't know how to look at it I mean it's again like it's hard to have a answer because you know, many layers are in this issue I mean, it's easy to say, yes, the, the artist should get credit for the work that they put in, but I mean, it's a little more muddled than that because usually the art in the question is not belonging to them, like the, the properties in said art are theirs. <laughs> well, with that being said, if that's the case, then what are you bitching about? Like, if you drew a picture of Mickey Mouse, and like, although Mickey Mouse was owned by Disney, like, like, yeah, Mickey Mouse is owned by Disney. It won't budge. Something's home. God damn it. Like, what do you fucking want from me, then? Because I will say, like, especially Perler Beat Art, it's really weird about that. Like, if you copy 
anybody's perler bead pattern, which is a thing that, it's a weird thing to me because copying a perler like, bead pattern would be That's like being mad at somebody for using, for, uh, for building your your thing in Minecraft. Like, you you made a, uh, like a machine and you designed, like, you designed it or whatever and then, like, somebody fucking, uh, like, use that same design, and you saw it in their video, and you were like, you, like, why would you, like, being pissed at them? Like, because even like, when I do yes. use other people's, like, perler bead patterns, I usually try to, like, change something about it that makes it more unique to when I make it. I mean, yeah, same goes with, like, good our Minecraft stuff, but I feel like, you gotta, oh my gosh, uh, like, I... There are so many... Yikes! Bob and weave, bitch, bob and weave. We ain't got no ammo. I'm just mashing cross. I'm mashing it. I'm out of here. Oh, hey, that's... Yeah, well, why the fuck not? Uh... <laughs> my art on like the internet before like i feel like everybody does that like when you draw something usually you want fucking attention for it it's usually how that works so like the idea that i drew this this is mine like don't copy my stuff like i understand it i i get it i understand that you don't want somebody like to steal your artwork but i also feel like you gotta kind of accept that it's gonna happen. It's kind of like with um, like uh, porn stars get really uppity about people like downloading their stuff illegally, and like the only fuck. Oh! And my first thought was like, when you choose to do anything that can be transferred into a, a digital medium, you have to accept that there's going to be um, there's going to be people to steal your work. Like, you don't have a choice. Like, you have to accept. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's something you genuinely have to accept as any kind of artist, musical, physical, like, Yeah, whatever. musical, digital. Oh! You have to accept that people are going to, like, copy. That scared me stories. for real. I did not know he was over there. That scared the hell out of me. I'm not saying you have to copy it, but you do have to accept it. It's no, you, but you have to, yeah, you have to, you're gonna have to, like, learn to just, like, deal with the fact that it's gonna happen because you decided to, uh, that's the, like, the medium you decided to roll with is something that's easily copied. Like, even if, like, it's something like Instagram, because Instagram, like, like, Instagram has, like, these things where, like, you can't just right click and save something on Instagram. Like, you just can't. Just like you just can't. Nothing happened. What? No shit. This is fucking wrong. <laughs> so, another pointless news. Well, that's not necessarily pointless, but it was uh, thought-provoking. 
Olaf is apparently five foot four. And what what janky ass universe? Frozen, apparently. So with that in mind, oh oh, that is not what I was thinking. Like that when you said Olaf, I thought you meant Count Olaf. <laughs> no, 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 like no. the the snowman Olaf. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> so with that in mind, given how short he is compared to the other characters in Frozen, yeah, everybody else is a fucking giant. Yeah. <sighs> It's like what was the other character? It was Peppa Pig, I think. Yeah, Peppa Pig is apparently like like seven foot three or some shit like that. Yeah, and I feel like the animators or whoever like released that information were just doing so for shit and giggles. They 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 were they were taking the piss, yeah. Because they knew that people were gonna be yeah. She's seven <laughs> feet tall. Peppa Pig is seven feet tall. <laughs> Where's everyone <clears throat> Bingo? I've never even seen a... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. No, you're not. I haven't even seen, like, the average... Like, I, don't, I can't even think the average uh, hog is, like, seven feet tall. Like, from top to bottom? Like, the, like if, you st- yeah. if you stood up... Like, from front to back, so yeah. Far. Hold up. Osmond Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. Though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family, Castellans for generations, possessed the ability to control Las Plagas. The organization's hypothesis is that a unique frequency of sonic wave sensed only by the parasites is used to control them. The same principle used in dog whistles. This was inferred through the analysis of a tissue sample we retrieved. The tissue contained an organ presumably used for sensing sound waves. I've seen cult members carrying ceremonial rods, and I wonder if they emit these sounds. Of course, this is purely theoretical. It's it's all speculation. The organization needs samples of the parasite to confirm or disprove these theories. That is the main objective of my mission, and the only way to prove my loyalty to the organization. The opening moves in this chess game have been played. There's no turning back now. Apparently that's not too crazy. (coughs) 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 Fuck! Mm, Sorry, sorry, my gosh. The only reason I'm taking on this mission is to get closer to my own objective. No matter what happens, I can't let anyone figure out, figure that out. Of course, hiding in the shadows isn't my style. I have to reveal myself to him and offer advice once in a while. Here's what I know so far. Osmond Sadler, Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They've resurrected some sort of parasitic organism that calls Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. Though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family, Castilians for generations, possess the ability to... Is this literally the shit she just said? No, it's not. No, it's not. Possess the uh, the ability to control us, plug the organization's hypothesis that a unique frequency. What the fuck? Yeah, it's the same thing she just said. <laughs> Why are you making so many in save slots? Because. So apparently the whole like pigs being like really long, like which is oh, how you would talk about how tall. Yeah. Isn't too outlandish. Oh yeah, that's fair. A wild boar is six point six feet tall. Like if you stand it up anyway. Six point that's terrifying. Six point two feet. Uh, this is a forty pig, and a bearded pig is five point two. So seven feet is still pretty large for a pig. Yeah. Especially a baby pig. So they, so they could have said like five feet, and it would have been like, oh, that's a, you know, God, this looks terrible. 
We have an irregularity. The researcher we found has been discovered by the Illuminados. You must be talking about that vagrant Spaniard. So where is he now? He's held captive in an abandoned house located northeast of the village. Until he recovers the sample, we can't let him die. You don't need to remind me. Luis, Sarah. And I thought I was high maintenance. All right, so that's the end of this episode. Like, I don't, I'm still not 100 percent sure, like, how I'm gonna do this. I don't know if, like, I'm gonna just, like, run the whole thing. Like, I really just don't know. Like, I might just save it for later. I probably won't, cause I don't want. We don't waste con. We don't waste food. We don't waste content. But either way, like, that's the end of this episode for now. What um, next episode? Where it stops is where it stops. Like, we'll just kind of have to see. I'll probably still play until I reach another save spot. Until next time, y'all. We out of here.